The logic feature provides an advanced rules engine for selectively controlling fields on your form. Use the logic feature when complex conditions are required, like conditionally changing field settings, JSON schema, or data values. The logic system also allows the user to set multiple triggers in different branches of conditional actions on a single field. Whether you're setting up a simple one-to-one -one condition or creating complex workflows, the logic feature meets a broad range of requirements. First, we'll go over the UI of the logic feature, and then we'll get into some examples. To access the logic feature, open the component settings, and click the logic tab, and click add logic. Give the workflow a name to easily identify it. Set the trigger type to determine how the condition will be written or configured. The simple trigger type utilizes the same UI and configuration methods found in the conditional tab. Here you can set when the condition will be triggered, as well as the component, operator, and value that will set off the condition. You can write your own custom JavaScript to fire off the condition, as well as JSON logic. Use the event option when needing to execute conditions based on custom events set on the form. We'll set up a simple conditional for the workflow that will trigger when a radio component on the form has a value. Now that our trigger is set, Add an action that will execute when the condition is triggered by clicking the Add Action button. Give the action a name. There are four action types, the first one being property, which allows you to conditionally change field properties such as required validation, updating the component label, or setting the disabled flag. Once a property is selected, you can then select the state of that property. For example, required, we can set it to true or false. Or for label, we can set what the new label will be when the condition is met. The value option allows you to write custom code to change or populate data values based on the condition. Merge Component Schema allows you to directly update the field schema definition to configure additional settings for the field. Custom Action allows you to execute a custom event on the field. This typically coincides with other fields on the form, such as hidden fields, data source fields, and button components. Now let's look at some examples showcasing some of these action types. For simplicity's sake, I've utilized the simple trigger method to execute the conditions for all the examples. Again, you can write more complex conditions using custom JavaScript or JSON. The first example will update the settings of the text field here when a certain value is selected from this radio component. Let's take a look at the logic setup, clicking the component settings in the logic tab. Here we have three different instances of our logic workflow, each one being triggered by a certain value of the radio component. We'll open up the first instance. We can see that this condition is triggered using the simple trigger method. When the select a property radio component is equal to the set required flag. Opening up the action, we have the action set to property, which allows us to change the component properties of the field. I've selected required and set the state to true. The other two logic instances have a similar setup. Each is triggered by a specific value of the same radio component. So for this one, the condition will update the label of the component to update label when the condition is triggered. In the third one, this will set the disabled flag for the component when the disable field value is selected.
right, let's move over to the form to see the conditions in action. As I set the required flag value, we can see the required asterisk. Change label changes the label to update. And then we have the disabled flag triggered. Our second example, we utilize the value action type to populate the data of the first name and last name fields to the conditional value field below when the populate value checkbox is ticked. Let's open up the settings here. Again, we're using the simple conditional method. And that's set when populate values is equal to true or checked. Here we have the action type set to value. And below we have JavaScript code that will utilize the data variable to merge the string data of the first name and last name field and populate the string to the field. So again, let's move over to our form. Filled out my first and last name. I'm gonna tick our trigger field and here we have our populated data. The last example will utilize the merge component schema action type to directly update the JSON schema of the field. All right, here we have our action type set to merge component schema, and we have custom JavaScript using the schema operator to dynamically update the label which will be schema update and the label position, which will be positioned to the left of the component. If you're not sure of the component schema, you can always uh, click the edit JSON of the component and check this box to get a full list of, your, of the component schema. You can also visit the Formeo.js wiki page here you can find all the component schema properties and parameters. You should use caution though when updating the schema. It can break the component if you don't know what you're doing. All right, let's look at the second component which has the same setup, only this schema will be updating uh, or adding an input mask in this format to turn it into a phone number field. All right, back to our form. Let's click our first trigger value. So here we can see the field label updated to schema update and the position of the label to the left. And then when we check our input mask, we can see the input mask being added to the text field. There we go. You can visit the Form.io help documentation page for more information on the logic feature.